welcome people insulin preparation types this is a very important question so let us look at this one now earlier you know they used to use uh, bovine or beef insulin or porcine or pig insulin these differ from human insulin by just few amino acids but they are antigenic to human so they are not used okay in fact beef insulin is three amino acids different And pig insulin is one amino acid different. So, this one is less immunogenic. However, it is still immunogenic. These are not used. Okay, don't worry. Now, let us move on to monocomponent insulin. Monocomponent insulin. This is nothing but purified porcine insulin. Okay, so you take this uh, porcine, you take this porcine insulin. And you purify it and you will get mono component insulin right so what are these mono component insulins they are purified porcelain porcine insulins okay they are they cause less insulin resistance okay let's move on these are also not very important next we are coming to human insulins right that is what is important human insulin let's learn about these these are prepared from recombinant recombinant dna technology these these are prepared from recombinant dna technology they are by prepared using e coli or yeast these are human derivative the same gene right they have the same amino acid sequence as endogenous insulin same amino acid sequence as human insulin hence these are less immunogenic or actually they are least immunogenic they don't cause uh, antigenic uh, reaction in the body they are least immunogenic okay and insulin resistance and lipid dystroph dystrophy at the site of injection are rare okay less insulin resistance less lipid lip, lipodystrophy sorry lipodystrophy at site of injection okay less lipodystrophy at site of injection okay now moving on you have to give some examples here examples human regular insulin human nph insulin human regular insulin human nph insulin also purified purified human insulins so did you understand this part let's move on insulin analogs see actually what happens here these are also by recombinant dna technology but the thing is they are slightly different in amino acid sequence that is what is strange right okay now their uh, pharmacokinetic profile is altered because of this so they will be either fast acting or short acting etc right so the pharmacokinetics will change okay so based on the onset and duration of action we have these preparations okay now we are going to the actual preparations that you have to write insulin preparations okay they are uh, how they are classified based on onset based on onset duration of action they are classified so you have rapid acting then you have short acting please note this is just four of them are there rapid acting short acting intermediate acting 
then you have long acting only four now first let us look at rapid acting insulin analogs in these there is a small change in the b chain so this is the b chain down what you see that is the b chain there is a small change in the b chain so they have rapid onset of action within 5 to 15 minutes this is what is important right onset of action should be rapid 5 to 15 minutes right and uh, peak effect comes after one hour they should be administered just before meals administer just before meal administer just before a meal and they will reach the peak peak within one hour okay and duration is only four hours duration four hours so just note how it works okay on subcutaneous administration they quickly dissociate into monomers okay that is why they have rapid onset of action once you give it subcutaneously subcutaneous administration they quickly dissociate <clears throat> they quickly dissociate into monomers okay they quickly dissociate into monomers and they are rapidly absorbed that's why they have rapid action rapidly absorbed so this is how they have rapid action you will have to give it just before a meal and um, immunogenicity and binding everything is similar to human regular insulin here you should know three examples very important they'll be looking for these words only please note insulin list pro insulin as part insulin as part and insulin glulecine i have just put this so that you understand how to split the word while reading insulin lispro insulin as part insulin glulecine okay these are the three examples you should know for rapid acting so onset will be around 5 to 15 minutes peak will be after 1 hour duration of action total will be 4 hours okay so the thing is it will act only for 4 hours so during the period of meal right it will be uh, reducing the glucose level that is very good okay so it lowers the risk of late postprandial hypoglycemia so there is no risk of lowers the risk of lowers risk of late postprandial hypoglycemia okay we are done with rapid acting we are now moving on to short, uh, short acting right short acting i think we'll take up short acting in the next video because we have so much more to cover let's take a quick recap here insulin preparation and types earlier there was a beef insulin pig insulin which were slightly different from human insulin in few amino acid sequence like the beef one was different in three amino acids that's also called as bo bovine insulin then you have porcine insulin porcine insulin or pig insulin is different only in one amino acid however these were having lot of immunogenicity so we were not we uh, don't use them any longer there was one more purified uh, porcine insulin that is also called as monocomponent insulin not used as they are immunogenic fine they cause immune they cause immune reactions this much is clear Going on to human insulin, these are from recombinant DNA technology. Using E. coli and yeast, they have been prepared. They are same amino acid sequence as human insulin. They are least immunogenic, they cause least insulin resistance and they cause less lipodystrophy at site of injection. Examples, human regular insulin, human NPH insulin, purified human insulins. Sure, insulin analogs, these are also prepared by recombinant DNA technology, but their amino acid sequence is slightly different from human insulin. But still we are using. Interesting, right? 
amino acid sequence is slightly different. So what has changed actually the pharmacokinetic has changed for the benefit of us. Okay. So either they will be rapid or short or intermediate or long acting. So the insulin preparations there are four types rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting and long acting. In this video we have looked at rapid acting. There is a small change in the B chain. The action onset of action will be 5 to 15 minutes. It is administered just before a meal. Uh, the duration of this action will last for 4 hours. It lowers the risk of late postprandial hypoglycemia. It is administered subcutaneously. There is quick dissociation into monomers. Hence, it is rapidly absorbed. Immunogenicity is similar to human regular insulin. Examples are insulin lispro, insulin aspart and insulin glulicin. LAG lag. Interestingly, the mnemonic here for rapid is lag. Insulin lispro, insulin aspart and insulin glulicin. Okay. Lag. Okay, insulin lispro, insulin aspart, insulin glulicin. Okay, then in the next video, we are planning to look at short acting.